So as you can see, my character is widowed. That reduces his fertility by 50%, and I'm pretty sure it'll prevent him from remarrying for a while. Fortunately, we have enough children to carry on the line for now, so we don't need to worry about that too much. Oh, Stannis of Lannisport has an appealing uh, sound to it. Uh... Excellent, so we've now got... God, this this guy, he works his balls off for us. Okay, so we've got a claim on Rook's Rest now, uh, which is the remaining province of the two. Now, unfortunately, it is the same lord as I fought to gain control of South Cracklaw Point, so while we'll hang on to that claim for as long as Stannis is alive, we're going to have to wait until the 12th of May, oof, 10 years from now until we're able to claim that. We could break the truce, but it lowers most lords' opinions of us, and for a territory the size of Rook's Rest, it's not really worth it. But, we'll bear that in mind, we have that claim. Which is always good. Nice to be snapping up the remaining bits of land around the Crownlands. I'm still umming and ahhing about what to do with Stenise. I've released her now, but... The problem remains that I will at some point have to find a way to change the way in which she might succeed to the throne. I suppose marrying her to a Martel would be uh, would be handy. Would seal any sort of alliance with the people of Dawn, maybe. Oh, sugar, except it's not a matrilineal ma marriage. Uh, it's it's just a normal betrothal. I will have to uh, fix that, actually. Yeah. Sorry, Ulrich. 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 Yeah, we're going to have to do a matrilineal one. Uh, and hopefully that will be accepted, even though I just broke the same betrothal with him. <laughs> uh, smooth. Smooth. You'll notice I have a de jure claim on Claw Isle. I would have to go to the have to go to war with the the entirety of the north and the riverlands to um to claim that one so i'm gonna leave that one be for now ah oh yes medic of the reach has died uh the the first medic medic the second it reigns in his place uh i was just seeing if i could plot to have him killed but to be honest i don't see why i would want to because the eldest uh heir after him is 31 so that means that the reach the reach the reach is weakened uh, most people seem to be willing to conspire with me to frame him for treason. The hope is that he will be stripped of some kind of title if he's arrested for treason. Uh, preferably either the Reach or the Stormlands, separating the, the two. But yeah, there doesn't appear to be any love lost between the Lords of the Reach and their new Lord Paramount, so hopefully soon uh, will be the time to strike and claim the Stormlands. So we're gathering some speed in the plot to frame uh, Medic the Second of Treason. Always interests me that we're able to do that with like children who are currently uh, ruled by a a um, steward. Ninety-six percent plot power currently. That's good. That's good. It's a good start. Um, See if we can find anybody with as little as four. Oh yes, plenty of people. The High Septon. Of course the High Septon <laughs> wants in on this. Uh, he's all up for framing child lords. There we go. That's carried us over the 100% barrier, so at some point we should get a an event uh, hopefully allowing us to plant his evidence of his treason. Excellent. There we go. That was rather quick. Right, so we have a fairly slim chance of actually having it succeed. Um, we'll take it. Excellent. Okay, we've managed to frame Par Lord Paramount Medic the uh, second, and so he's suspected to be guilty of treason. So that was a very quickly successful plot. Um, now. There doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, now Robert seems to hate Medic's guts, he doesn't have to, uh, oh god he's five years old, um, 
he doesn't have to arrest him or anything, but what we've done is we've delivered a sort of hammer blow to his relations with the king, so hopefully he won't be able to request liege intervention if we... Uh, oh, there we go, he's been imprisoned, if we go to war with him. So that's all well and good. Uh, the five-year-old leader of the Reach is currently in prison, so that's a fair amount of instability we've managed to create there. Now, we're going to wait a short while while our troop count recovers, but then we should be able to move into the Stormlands with a fairly level playing field, uh, is the idea, at least. <laughs> no longer a crown loyalist. I can't imagine why that is. Right, he's been released. Uh, and he seems to have retained both of his titles, unfortunately. Oh well. Uh, at least we destroyed the relationship between Robert and Medic. That's the main thing. Steam he still seems to have a slightly favourable opinion of us. I don't know. The, the Meadows aren't, don't seem to be the most politically savvy uh, bunch. It is tempting to kill off more Meadowses, but um, I think I'll probably leave it be. <laughs> It's only going to end up with me risking uh, uh, getting discovered and losing uh, relations with people. Uh, now I could go to war for him just for a couple of counties or whatever. Oh, I see. There, the castles within my territory that are owned by, uh, or the where the lords of the castle are loyal to the Reach, which is a little uh, confusing. Oh, I see. They're loyal to the Stormlands, who in turn are loyal to the Reach. Okay, oh, the temptation to declare war now is is high, but let's just wait a little longer. He's not going to be aging particularly quickly. I think he'll be aging at the standard sort of rate of the passage of time. Um, I do wish his martial ability was higher. Um, that would make a big difference in terms of the troop numbers we could raise. Uh, as a Lord Paramount, it makes it makes a really big difference. So there we go, King Robert has a fairly good opinion of us. Um, he seems a very just king, or at least he's in favour of us. His heir is Renly, would you believe? So there, there will actually be a Renly on the Iron Throne before the Rastanis, possibly. Uh, so I've lost the patient trait. Oh, which is terrible because that gave me wonderful benefits. Uh, Stannis, what's happening to you? You used to be such a cool kid. Uh, and now our demands is too big because our stewardship stat, it's the stewardship one that determines it, uh, has been lowered. So now we have too many territories. Which I'm not too fussed about because uh, one of them is like a really uh, fairly useless piece of territory. I'm tempted to give a territory to Stannis with a Y just to stop him rebelling anywhere down the line because they usually tend to be content with having one territory. Saying that, it's basically impossible for him to rebel at the current moment. I could give him Sharp Point, that's not really a major thing. Or I could give him... yeah, I'll give him South Crackle Point, why not? I never had much luck for it anyway. And because he's my brother, he will pretty much always remain uh, my vassal as well. Uh, because he's part of the same dynasty. I suppose it's somewhat fitting that now that I've uh, assumed the mantle of uh, Prince of Dawn that I now have to face off against their age-old enemies in the Reach. Uh, admittedly not the Tyrells, um, because they were sort of... I, I forget how they lost power, it's been so long, but the Meadows is are in charge now. House Meadows is in charge. There we go. Oh, fantastic. All right. So, a powerful group of loyalists have presented an ultimatum to the usurper medic of the Reach demanding that I rule over the Stormlands. Alright, it looks as though the war for the Stormlands is probably going to start here, then. <coughs> I suppose I'll have to unpause it to, um... Oh my goodness, brilliant, right. So it looks as though we've got, uh, Blackhaven, the, the Marcher Lords, uh, of risen up against them. Uh, Red Watch as well. Alright, and look at that. That's a really small number of troops that the Reach seems to be. I think we have a pretty good chance here. Offer to join as war, uh, except 
No, we can join his war. I thought for a second that we weren't allowed to, but he's not our vassal, so we can join his war. Uh, excellent. So in a short while, we'll be able to raise our levies and face down against the Reach for the control of the Stormlands. Okay, we're at war with the Reach now. We have 28,000 troops at our disposal. This is what I like to see. Magnificent. Right. This is it, guys. This is the major uh, smackdown that we've all been waiting for. This is my war to claim the Stormlands, and it's underway. Uh, now, unfortunately, there appears to be about 8,000 troops from uh, Shipbreaker Bay, but I'm thinking that they are involved in a separate conflict, and if we avoid them, then that will be fine. Quite an impressive number of allied troops in uh, Blackhaven and Red Watch there. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, 10,000 men in Red Watch. I hadn't even noticed. I was just <laughs> looking to the left, saw that there were quite a lot of troops in Blackhaven. They could actually be of use. 10,000 men in Red, Red Watch. They must be mercenaries by and large. But still, that is a major force to be reckoned with. That's like as close to the number of men that the Reach are fielding, in, like in total, as far as I'm aware, anyway. Uh, now, what we need to do here is organize our navy because they're not really useful in separate ships. Uh, I should point out that for anybody who's unfamiliar with this game, as far as I'm aware, naval combat isn't an option in this, so um, even though it was uh, very much a thing in the Game of Thrones universe, it's not really a big deal here. 